Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Study Perfume Review. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Paris Hilton's Gold Rush. So I've actually had this fragrance for, oh, let's say, let's let's check Instagram and find out how long I've actually had this. Um, say seven days, so I've had it for about a week. Um. And I've just been waiting for the notes to be public so I could actually review it. So, the box this time looks like this. And it's actually very different from anything I've ever seen before, um, fragrance-wise. I know there's another fragrance company, which I'm not going to mention, that has a box similar to this. Um, but it's not exactly like this. It's still different, and it's still very different from what I've personally seen. I don't have anything in my collection that's like this. So when I first saw this box, I honestly thought it was like a square box, almost like... We'll just grab one that's right here. I almost thought it was like this. Like, the love to love. I th almost thought it was like this. And then, like, you turn on top and it was square. Except for, it's actually, like, a straight-up diamond on top. Um, and then, on the both sides, it just gives you kind of that iridescent, reflective thing. And then, on the front, it says, uh, Paris Hilton, or Gold Rush Paris Hilton. And on the bottom... It says, Eau de Parfum Sorry Vaporizer 3.4 ounce, 100 milliliters. But it's kind of harder to see because of that font. Or that, that background. And then on top, it's got the Gold Rush logo. And like I said, on the back, it's just got this. It does have one of those, um, Scan Me barcodes. And I, it, almost all the Parlex fragrances, I feel like, have these. Um... When I first got it and scanned it, nothing happened, but let me scan it now and see if anything happens. Um, still nothing may happen. I will say that the, that color, um, this kind of background color does almost screw it. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. It just does this. So, I mean, it just says authenticated, um, proof ID, not available, item not authenticated by iProof ID, but nothing says anything. So, the bottle looks like this this time, and is a whole brand new bottle, brand new fragrance, brand new everything for Paris. This isn't a flanker to anything. This is a brand new fragrance. So, the bottom is kind of this, it looks like a dress, um, and then the bottom's kind of rigid, I thought you guys can see that. Um, and then kind of goes up into almost like the hips. You've got what I call the cat, you know, the neck of the bottle is the belt. And then you've got the bodice up here. What I find really, really cool about this fragrance, instead of them just kind of like cutting off the back. And I mean, it's flat on the back, but it actually is shaped like a heart on top. I don't know if that was intentional or what, but it does look like a heart on top. Um, which I'm very, very glad because when we saw the like original... Um, screenshots from this, which, let's see if I can pull that picture up. Um, da -dum -dum -dum, da -dum -dum -dum. dum 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 When we saw this screenshot, and we saw the bottle, um, I was kind of nervous about it because right about here is where you see the back of the bottle like this kind of, because it's sitting on her vanity, um, and I just thought, like, that was the top of the bottle, and it was a heart, and I got super nervous, because I thought that was going to look really weird, but now that we know the front of the bottle looks like this, and it's kind of a bodice on top, as you notice, there is kind of a dent of the liquid. When I got this, the liquid was a lot farther up, um, I've just used it quite a lot in last week, um, so, but yeah, definitely that was kind of the original picture we saw for Gold Rush, and I was super nervous about it because I was afraid it wasn't going to look good. So, anyway, so Gold Rush bottle looks like this. Notes for Gold Rush. Top notes are lemon zest, bergamot, and nectarine. Middle notes are velvet, orchid, rose petals, and violet, with base notes of vanilla bean, praline, and cashmere wood. So, I would like to say, straight off the bat, that this 
kind of reminds me a little bit of Passport in Paris. And the only reason I'm saying that it has similar DNA. But this fragrance is... It, it is very different. If you like Passport in Paris, you'll love this. But it is very different. It's got kind of a crisp to the top. Um, it's got a little bit of a floral middle. And then the base being very vanilla. Um, but it has quickly become my hands down favorite Paris Hilton fragrance. Um, to date. Like hands down out of all of them this is my favorite favorite one so straight off the bat the bergamot and the lemon zest on the very very top are probably the most prominent um the notes i'm reading are from hsn and i don't know if hsn has all of the notes or not um i detect a green apple note to this fragrance um but it is not listed as a note but i do get the lemon zest i do get that bergamot the nectarine is there it almost adds kind of like a slightly citrusy kind of balance to the lemon zest and the the bergamot because all three are very citrusy but i feel like with the three citruses in the top the orange isn't kind of like a cleaner orange and the lemon zest isn't like a lemon pledge scent as it starts to dry down um i definitely get i think in my opinion the velvet orchid and the rose petals are the most prominent but i like that it's rose petals and not rose because this is not rosy at all I don't really pick up that kind of like powderiness that the rose brings to a fragrance. The violet is there. I can definitely pick up the violet. It's very similar to the violet that is in um, Little Mix's Gold Magic. Let's see what they did there. Um, anyway, so Gold Magic has a similar violet note that this has. Um, and it kind of just adds a softness to the fragrance. The dry down is definitely what you're getting throughout the entire fragrance. The vanilla bean, the praline, and the cashmere woods. Um, definitely the most prominent three notes in this fragrance. Vanilla being the, like, top, top dog. The praline adds a little bit of a warmth sweetness to the bottom of the vanilla bean. And the cashmere wood kind of also adds a little bit more warmth, a little bit more, um, hardiness to the fragrance. This fragrance is represented of old Hollywood glamour. The, um... Thing they have on HSN says captivating the beauty of old Hollywood glamour is sparkling and bright. It is sens in the sensual fragrance from Paris Hilton. The warmth and radiance of gold and the rush of two hearts beating, colliding and captured in the sweet woody fragrance it blend in the basket of an intoxicating glow of gold rush. I totally butchered all of that. I am so deeply sorry. But anyway, this fragrance is currently available on HSN. $60 um, plus do, 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 $60 plus $7.22 for shipping and handling um, and tax. So you're looking probably about $73, $74 after all said and done, depending on what state you're in. Um, if you're an HSN card holder, you can do two flex pays on it if you would like. Um, but definitely, if you're brand new to HSN, they have a $10 off for new customer's code as well. So um, definitely, like I said, favorite, favorite Paris Hilton fragrance. This is definitely very light. It is very, um, oh my god, I'm just going to spray myself because I freaking love this. Um, it's light, it's warm, it's, it does last quite a long time, um, and I've actually gotten a lot of compliments on this. Um, this fragrance leaves a trail when you're walking. Um, I've worn this to work and I've had people ask me what I'm wearing, um, because it's just so intoxicating and it's so beautiful and it's super non-offensive. I feel like this is a fragrance that anyone could like. Um, my husband picked up when he smelled when we first got it. He smelled it and he loved it as well. So and he's very picky on the fragrances he likes, but he does like this one as well. So I say lasting power. You get a good about get a good eight nine hours out of this fragrance. It is an eau de parfum, so it does last a little bit longer. Um, I say best time to wear it would be probably summer or late summer, early fall, winter. This is a very universally all year round fragrance. I don't feel like this fragrance is offensive for any time of the year. Um, and I feel like the more you wear it, like when I wear this in the hot, because it's been like the last week, it's been like in the 90s here. Um, you get that vanilla orchid or the velvet orchid really comes out with that vanilla and the pralines, um, but I feel like if it was colder and rainier, some of the things like the violet would come out a little bit more. So I feel like this fragrance is good for all the times, all day, all seasons, all stuff, because it does have that ability to change through all of it. So there is my review of Paris Hilton's Gold Rush. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And also, now that I'm thinking about it, 
I wanted to show you guys this. So, as you guys saw in the very, very beginning of this video, um, my, my, um, production image for Gold Rush, if it comes up, there we go. Um, this picture, let me tell you, my vacuum is still sitting behind me because I haven't really had time to, like, be in here the last few days since I took this picture. This picture, I used buckets of glitter to do to get the right amount of glitter. And let me tell you, I'm probably, like, the one human being who has a, um, vacuum full of glitter right now because literally, like, so much glitter went into this. It wasn't even funny. And I still am finding glitter in here and all around my house from it. So, but the, the, the name of photography, we, we will get this done. So, I really, really hope you guys like that I'm doing my own production images. If you've stuck along after my little outro to this part and you guys like my um, production images that I've done, let me know. Let me know which one's your guys' favorites. Um, all of my production images, I do have... Um, like, without, you know, because I always had to take all my own pictures, so I do actually have them all without, like, the wording of over it, so if you guys really, really like any of my production images, let me know, let me know since I've been doing it. I've been doing it for about a year now. Um, the first one I ever did it with was, um, Intimate Fantasy, so... If you guys like them, let me know. Um, I will continue to keep doing them because I enjoy doing them. Um, when a new perfume launches and I know I'm getting it, um, what I do is I literally sit down and think of what I can do to, you know, get the best picture. When I did the, the last video I did was uh, Britney Spears' private show. I literally went out and bought an entire box of plastic diamonds to do that kind of effect of it sitting oh my god it went in between my fingers that effect of it kind of sitting in the diamonds so if you guys like them let me know um hands down all-time favorite one if you guys want to know you guys may not care um hands down favorite one i've ever done is this one um i actually hold one moment like i was saying i this is my favorite one and i actually like it so much that i went and got it blown up um and this actually hangs in my house because this is like just one of my favorite pictures I've ever done just like the concept that I had in my mind that transferred into this picture just all of it went so well so if you guys really like my production images let me know I will continue to keep doing them um and like I said let me know which one in the comment section is your favorite and that is how I will know you guys stuck around this long so thank you guys so much for watching as always follow me on twitter a that's perfume and instagram I'm on the stars perfume links are in the description below um, if you don't follow me on either one of those, please do, because that is where you will find out about upcoming reviews before I do them, and it's also where you will find out about new perfumes as soon as I can post about them or whatever. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!